Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, 1 over 2 m squared is equal to 1 over m minus 1 half. Okay. So one thing we can do is we want to add these fractions together, but they don't have the same denominator. So we want to make a like base here. So what I'm going to do is make both bases together 2m. So 1 half gets multiplied by m over m to make 2m in that base, and 1 over m gets multiplied by 2 over 2. Okay. What that does is give us a base of 2m for both of them allowing us to combine it. So let's bring this down, 1 over 2m squared equals, well, we have a base of just 2m, so the numerator, 1 times 2 is 2, minus m times 1 is m. All right, much simpler now. Well, we want to cross multiply, but before we do that, I actually, well, kind of, I do like a half cross multiply. You don't actually have to multiply both across to their corners, okay? And what I can do is I'm going to take this 2m squared and just bring it up to the right. So we have 1 left over here equals, now watch this, 2m squared times, in parentheses, 2 minus m over 2m. And what this allows me to do is kind of cancel some things out. It, I like to keep thing, everything separate and cancel what I can. The 2's will cancel here, right, boom, and cancel that out, right, because it's just one term here. And m squared gets canceled out with this m. So now we're left with just 1 equals m times 2 minus m. All right. Let's go distribute this m across like so. Now we have 1 equals m or 2m, sorry, 2 times m is 2m, and minus m squared. If we subtract a 1 to both sides and rearrange, we have 0 equals negative m squared plus 2m minus 1. Now looking at this, I actually like to rearrange it kind of the other way. Bring everything over to the other side. So. I like to keep my m squared, it's a positive y factor, that's a preference of mine. So essentially I'm going to bring everything over, I'm going to add an m squared, subtract a 2m, and add a 1 to both sides, I didn't recognize that earlier. So we have m squared here, minus 2m plus 1 equals 0. And that's a much easier problem to factor. So let's ask ourselves a question. What two numbers multiply to be a positive 1 but add to be a negative 2? And those two numbers are minus 1 and a minus 1. So we have m minus 1 here, and m minus 1 is equal to 0. And so it's the same when we solve for m, right? We can set both of these equal to 0. m minus 1 equals 0. m minus 1 equals 0 the same thing, m equals positive 1 for both of them, and we only need to write that once, m equals positive 1, or in my case, three times, okay? So they tell us here now we want to check our answer. Let's check it. So I'm going to check for extraneous solution, so I'm going to put that 1 and plug it in for every single m of our original equation. So we have 1 over 2 times 1 squared equals 1 over 1 minus one half. Okay? Now, we're going to keep the left and right hand side separate and just simplify both of them and see if they're equal. So one squared is just one, one times two is two, so we have one half here on the left. One over one minus one half, well one over one is one, right? <laughs> minus one half is one half. Left and right hand side are equal, meaning m equals 1 is our only true solution. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com